In this video, I am going to show you how to install a guest operating system on your main host operating system using the VirtualBox. VirtualBox is one of the, the great tool. It's an open source free software created by Oracle for personal and enterprise use. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to install a Linux a CentOS operating system on the VirtualBox. So you go and create new and name your operating system here. So I'm going to say CentOS, CentOS 8. Point, CentOS 8. And this is going to select uh, the path for your operating system. If you want to change, you can change. I'm going to leave it as it is uh, now. And it's uh, saying uh, type Linux in 84-bit. So leave them as default and click Next. And I'm going to select, so I have a eight gig memory and I want to select at least two gig for this one, 2000. 48, that's the best practice for a 64-bit OS. Uh, and then I click uh, Create Virtual Hard Disk now. Yes, and I'm going to leave it VDI. That's a virtual box disk image. And then I'm going to make it dynamic allocation. That means when you need more space, it's going to expand your hard disk. Uh, but fixed means you are going to stuck with a fixed size. Uh, so you may run out of space and freeze your uh, host operate, uh, the guest operating system. Even with dynamic, if you see here, you can uh, define what is the max storage it can use. I'm going to leave it at 8 gig. So it won't expand beyond 8 gig. And I'm going to create... So I have created my uh, machine now. Before I start, I need to select the bootable image here. So it's like a, you have a, a new uh, uh, computer here, and then you need to put a CD into the computer to uh, boot up and install your operating system. So I'm going to go to the settings and I'm going to go to the storage. I'm going to click here. So right now this is empty. I'm going to select here. I'm going to select choose the disk file. I'm going to click here 8. Let me see. Uh, I have this one here. CentOS. This is my ISO file. So I'm going to select here and click OK. Now I can start my VM to install the CentOS operating system. So I'm starting my operating system for the install. So it is uh, starting right now. And it's preparing the OS now for the installation. So now it has started and uh, doing some checking. Okay, now it has come to the installation welcome screen. And I'm going to leave these as default and click continue. And it's throwing a message here. So this message is about the mouse and keyboard control. So when uh, these are the indicators uh, where your mouse and uh, keyboards are controlled. So if the mouse and keyboard available for VM, it won't be available for your uh, the host operating system. So you have to toggle between both of them. So that's what uh, about this message. Uh, I will uh, say capture and I'm going to click continue. Okay, uh, the first thing uh, you are going to select this one, uh, install destination. 
I am going to uh, make it as an automatic install and I'm going to click done here. Your current uh, request 9 gig. Uh, so I only allocated uh, 8 gigs. Since I don't have enough space uh, here, so what I am going to do is I'm going to stop this VM and going to increase the the size of the hard drive beyond 8 gig. So I'm going to go to a 32 gig hard drive. So I have enough space to grow when I uh, add more package and other things to my minimal install. So let me show you how to do that. So to increase the, the size of my hard drive, I have, in, I have stopped my VM, I powered off my VM. So I'm going to come back here to the virtual media manager and I'm going to, this is the hard disk and I'm going to increase that to uh, next stop. Let me see. Uh, I would say, you know, just increase that to um, 32 gig. So that means, you know, I can, I will have a lot of space. So I apply. I'm going to apply the settings. It has been applied, so it turned gray. So I'm going to close this one. So if you see here, my uh, size has increased to 32 gig. So now I'm going to go back and uh, I have my disk here. I'm going to go and start my VM again. Now I am at this uh, installation again. After I increase the, the size, I'm going to close these alerts and click continue. I am at the installation now. I'm going to go click here. The mouse is a little sketchy here. And uh, I'm going to, so if you see here, now my hard disk size is 32.79 gig. I'm going to make it as an automatic install. So that means all the partition will be done automatically uh, based on, you know, um, recommendation from CentOS. And I'm going to click done here. So that is automatic partitioning uh, selected. And now I'm going to go to network and host. And I'm going to make my host name if you see here local host local domain uh, that's so i'm going to select uh, this as a network network tutor dot local domain I'm going to apply this one so that uh, it's been approved and I'm going to say done here and I'm going to come here uh, software selection I'm going to select uh, a minimal install here so there are different installs here. Um, I don't want a GUI. I just want a, a minimal install and I want to install the packages uh, when I need them. So my VM will be fast that way because server with GUI will be uh, the maximum a huge operating system. So if you are going to practice Linux uh, and you want to start with the minimal install, and build the packages uh, as needed. Even the minimal install come with a bunch of packages that's needed. Uh, so that's enough for you to start. So I'm going to say done here. And uh, installation media, that is automatic detect installation media. Yes, I would say automatic detect. And then uh, time zone. I'm going to select my time zone that is going to be 
Chicago, the Central uh, Time. That is done. And the password. So the root password is the most powerful password. Uh, you can do anything uh, with the root password in your system, including system file, anything. So I'm going to do that, uh, this password. So, okay, I'm going to say done here. And um, also I am going to, so I'm going to go to the user creation now. So this mouse is a little sketchy. I'm going to go here. Uh, this is going to be a, a normal password for user, regular user. Okay, that is done. So everything is done. What I needed, I'm going to start begin install. Okay, so it's going to do the install and I'm going to pass this one, come back when the install is done. The install is complete now, so I'm going to reboot the system here. So reboot. Now I am at the login. My username is, password is, okay, now I am at the prompt. I can go to root and my password, I'm going to put my password. So now I am at the root level. So you can see the difference is the dollar sign is a normal user and the pound sign is the, the root level uh, privilege. I hope this video is helpful for you. So please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification so you will be notified when I uh, put up my next video. All right, thanks, bye.